Hiya, Adina Jackson here. This tutorial is just going to show you how you can get some ideas for writing your hub articles. You can also use the same technique for writing your articles for whatever website you are writing for, um, as in your blog or um, your online magazine, or if you're writing for any other revenue share website. Um, it's also a good technique to use to, um, for creating video as well, getting ideas for video content. So we're on the Forbes web website, but uh, we can, start off with using the Twitter technique and how we're going to do this is go to twitter.com obviously we're going to click on discover and what that's going to bring up is it's going to bring up a list of the hashtags below the trends and it's going to bring up a list of various articles that are um, trending on Twitter at the moment um, as you can see you've got Harry Potter You've got um, Joey Barton, Kinexa, Lion, 10 must-have tools for entrepreneurs, Hurricane, Katrina, etc, etc, etc. I mean, you could go ahead and click on those and see what comes up and, you know, obviously click on those articles and see what, if those articles are of interest to you, you can actually take those articles and use us as a base and write something on that specific topic. Um, you can also click on one of these articles and use that as a specific topic. So say, for example, you, you like to write about technology, then this is going to be right up your street. It's going to be perfect for you. You'll be looking for, for technology articles. Um, this technique is for specifically if you like to write about what, you know, various different things. So... Say, for example, you just like writing about gardening, then it's a good idea to sort of focus on gardening and type into Google gardening and see what comes up, or type into Google um, health and beauty if you're into health and beauty and see what's coming up, see what's trending in that section, in that um, particular topic. So that's the Twitter method. Right, the next method we are going to use is the Google Trends method. And as you can see here, I've already done it. And what I've done is I've gone to google.com forward slash trends. I've typed in um, Aaliyah because one of the trends hot searches on in the USA area here, as it says here, is um, Aaliyah. Another hot topic is Neil Armstrong. Another top, hot topic is Snooky Baby. Another hot topic is Hurricane Isaac Path. And so what I've done is I've typed Aaliyah into the search engine and it's come up with these particular topics and articles. I've clicked on mtv.com and it's come up with a, a cool article on Aaliyah, 11 years on remembering Aaliyah. And so you, what you could do is if you really, you know, like writing about entertainment topics, then what you could do is take this particular article and use this as a base. I'm not I'm not saying you should plagiarise the article. I'm just saying that you can use it as a base for um, writing your article, as you know that it's trending already. So, you know, the main keywords are going to be Aaliyah, remembering Aaliyah, Aaliyah nine years later, um, you know, Aaliyah, you know, from the various different celebrities, etc, etc, etc. Um, so that's that method. The next method is what you can do is you can go to google.com and you can type in, say for example, blogging. This is just an example. You probably want, want to write about blogging, but if you want to write about blogging or writing online, you type in blogging. One of the one of the most um, prolific websites about blogging is problogger.com. So you go to problogger.com and you're going to just take a browse through um, problogger.com and see what articles are on there. And you can actually just use these articles as a base to write um, articles for yourself. You know. Um, Obviously, you're not going to copy these articles, but you can use these articles as a base. If you're someone who's just starting off with um, writing on her pages, 
I personally, other people have said different, but I personally don't think it's necessary to go really deep into keyword research and really start trying to worry about it. Because I think that once you start writing about specific topics, you're naturally going to integrate those keywords into your article. You know, and eventually, as you get more adept with the whole um, idea of writing articles online, then you can start learning about SEO and start learning about. And I think a lot of the times people get overwhelmed with learning about SEO and you know rushing to ch try and learn out as much, learn as much information as possible. The next, the next thing you're going to do um, is you're going to go to hub pages and you're going to go to explore and you're going to go to answers right and what's going to come up is a list of hot questions that people have asked one of these questions that was asked only 22 hours ago was how can i earn in hub pages other than associating with google adsense so you could either just answer that question which is a way of a way of raising your profile answering the questions or you can take that exact question and create an article about it um if you know about hub pages, this is going to work for you. But if you say, for example, you 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 know about health, you can go down to health, click on health, and you can just go to any of these questions. And you know, what's your guilty pleasure? You could write a, a, a basic article about. Um, 20 guilty pleasures or something like that because it's a topic that's already you know people have already got an appetite for it if seven people have already answered this question you can write an article about it so that's pretty much it really you know this is this is for beginners i'm not talking about people that are seasoned um hub hubbers but people that have just started out on her pages not really sure how to think how to get topics another way and i you know, this is offline, but this is another way, one other way, a couple of other ways of, of, of thinking about topics. And one of them is to actually just go to the library and look at books about whatever topic you're thinking about, health, um, alternative medicine, celebrities, weight loss. There's thousands of books at, you know, most good libraries. And if you read through some of these books, these books are gonna give you, you know, they're gonna give you good titles good subject matters, good topics. You can use these books as research. Another thing you can do is just go to the newsstand and actually just see what's in the newspapers that specific morning and write about it. Or go and check out the magazines and look at the latest fashion trends if you are into fashion and literally just write about it. Or you can just go to a fashion website or a celebrity website and check out the latest things that's going on. At the moment, I'm just gonna be doing a massive series about celeb gossip and next series I'm going to be doing is going to be about fashion but anyway if you've got any questions you can leave all the questions and comments below um, and I'm going to answer everything that you want to answer everything that you want to ask I will endeavor to answer everything I'm, 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 I never ignore people I always you know answer questions um, I've been on her pages for a while now and I've you know built up quite a good following on there but I'm just trying to help people on YouTube now as, as I've literally just started my YouTube channel so um, thank you very much for watching and if you need any other um, information or, or advice don't hesitate to contact me um, through here and I will try and help you out thanks a lot bye